Hello and welcome to the Kingpin Crime YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at the man known as the Godfather of Liverpool, known for driving around the city in a white Rolls Royce. He's alleged to be largely responsible for the massive influx of drugs into the heart of Merseyside during the 1980s. Michael Showers was born on the 14th of July 1945 in Liverpool, a memorable year in history which signalled the end of World War II and also birthed a generation that would begin to change the history of the city's drug use. He began to make a name for himself at an early age. By 1963, at the age of 17, he was sent to juvenile prison for his part in a stabbing. This never deterred Showers from a life of crime, however. After being released, he started his career as a bank robber. Due to his reputation for resolving problems and connections in Toxteth, Showers became a Toxteth community leader around the time of the 1981 Toxteth riots. In the wake of the riots, he formed the Toxteth-based Liverpool 8 Defence Committee. Unbelievably, for a short time during the 80s, despite his convictions for robbery, shootings, stabbings and drug trafficking, Showers somehow managed to get a job working as an immigration advisor for the Liverpool City Council. Showers also had a job as a dock worker during his early years, however, a job that would change the direction of his life forever, when he realised the potential for the dock to be used as a point of entry for importing drugs. Using the connections he'd made in the criminal underworld, both home and abroad, he began importing millions of pounds worth of marijuana into the country. Speaking on his method of importing drugs, he stated that he went to Nigeria during that time, he met up with someone who had some weed he wanted to put on a ship. The man wanted to know if there was anyone in Liverpool who would buy it, so Showers then contacted people in England who met the ship and bought it. From this first arrangement, he ended up making a profit of £90,000. He then started to send cannabis to Liverpool himself, scaling up the business, processing up to a ton, despite customers being alerted of the drugs coming into Liverpool. Showers' business had people with relatives in senior positions at the docks, which made it easier for the drugs to be taken off and passed onto the sales division. But in 1981, things took a turn for the worst in Liverpool. The city plunged into mass unemployment as smokable heroin arrived. This contrasted with Showers, however, whose wealth only appeared to be going in an upward direction. He would famously be seen driving around Liverpool in a white luxury Rolls Royce, while also living in a big house at the time. His increase in wealth was also noted by Merseyside police, who began to think Showers had a new game plan to control the heroin trade. The police then set up an elaborate sting, codenamed Operation Rainman. Rainman involved the controlled delivery of just under 12 kilograms of heroin from Pakistan. A Pakistani man named Haji went to the High Commission in the country, saying he had been approached by a supplier to take drugs to the UK by a man named Michael. Haji was then offered payment to take part in the smuggling as a courier so they could trap the gang with the drugs in the UK. Accepting to be involved in the operation, Haji was given heroin by the supplier in Pakistan. He then took it to the British High Commission, giving it to the customs officer who brought it to the UK, with Haji only then coming back into contact with it when he came to Manchester Airport. A man, Mohammed Zubair, collected two kilograms of heroin, but was arrested as he left Haji's hotel room near Manchester Airport. Showers, who was still working at Liverpool City Council's immigration unit, denied he was involved, saying he was helping Zubar get entry clearance for his wife. But itemised phone records associated to Showers showed calls to and from Pakistan. One of the phone numbers in Pakistan was printed on the bus stop right next to the door of the location of the drugs handler. Showers was also said to have phoned Hadji at the hotel in Manchester. This evidence finally led to his conviction for heroin in 1991, but to this day he protested his innocence, claiming he was set up. Showers is now a free man and a father to eight children. He has appeared on a number of podcasts continues to speak out about his life of crime and the realities he faced whilst in prison. Thank you for watching, please like, subscribe and share, and feel free to post suggestions for future videos in the comments section below.